Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to help you get your own N8N instance set up on your domain uh, for only $6 a month. So right now, N8N does cost, what, like $24 a month billed monthly, then this is all you get too. So like, why would you want to host like N8N by yourself? Well, one, if you want privacy, you want control over your data and also no workflow limits and $6 a month beats uh, $24 a month. So this is going to be a five minute video, so I'm going to go pretty quickly, but hopefully it'll get you uh, your own N8N instance by the end of it. So let's get started. Um, but the first thing you're going to do is actually get a domain. So I recommend going to namecheap.com. I already have a domain, so I'm not going to go through the process, but I recommend registering through here. And then this is what we're going to use uh, to actually host our N8N server. Then we're going to go over to this digital ocean um, template. So we're going to host our N8N server on DigitalOcean and they're basically just a way to be able to host like websites and stuff. So I'm going to leave this link in the description. So just go over here and you're going to set up an account. So you're going to click on create N8N drop. This will run you through the flow of creating an account. You don't actually have to pay up front. They're based on usage. So you'll pay at like the end of the month. So you can leave a lot of these settings alone. Um, I recommend doing whatever's closest to you, but you'll see we have this selected and you see we have like $32 a month here. You're not going to do that. We're definitely not going to do that. It's too much. Um, but what you what you are going to select is regular. And then you're going to select the $6 a month here. So you're just going to make sure that's selected. Everything else looks good. Um, I would select password here, um, because SSH, SSH key is a little bit more advanced, but if you want to do that, if you know how to do that, you can do that. Just so I'm going to do this password and then the rest of this stuff you can leave alone. You can actually call this whatever you want, like N8N, uh, self-hosted. You can select a project and then you're just going to create the droplet. This will take a couple of minutes. Once this is actually started up, so you'll see, get started here. You're just going to go into here. You're going to go to access and then you're going to launch the droplet console. So we're going to do this. And so the password that you actually had before, make sure you have that because that's, what's going to be used to log in. And so this is going to be the fun stuff. So you're going to set up a subdomain. Um, you can leave it as N8N by default if you want, but you can do something else. So I'm going to do N8N2 since I already did N8N.fastclick.ai. So this is just going to set up another one for me. So we're just going to go through, through this and then whatever domain you registered earlier, you're going to use that. So I have fastclick.ai and then it's going to run through the setup process. Yeah. So before we set up this stuff, we're going to go over to our domain that we bought. So I'm going to go to my account. Um, make sure you go to account up here, dashboard. You're going to find your domain in my case, fastclick.ai. Then I'm going to go over to advanced DNS and then make sure over here, all you have to do is add a new record. You're going to select a record and then you're going to put the domain that you want. In this case, I'm going to do N8N-2 since I already have N8N over here. And then the IP address of your droplet, which if you come back to digital ocean, you can find it right here. Just copy this come back here, paste it, set this to like one minute and then click on the checkbox. And then you might have to give this like a couple of minutes, but once you've done that, you're going to come back to the droplet over here. I'm going to do N8N-2. You can just do N8N um, because I've already set this up. I'm going to do fastclick.ai and then just give it like an email. So I'm going to do at, saw it as at fastclick.ai. And this is just for like your SSL certificates. It's not really important to know. Um, would you like to configure a time zone? You can, I'm just going to do no. And then this is where it's going to start setting up N8N. This will probably take like a couple of minutes, but you don't have to do like any of the Docker stuff that a lot of other videos recommend. So it's really easy. This is probably one of the easiest ways I've found to like actually self host N8N, um, without you having to do much. Cause I know there's some videos that say you can like set up through Docker and stuff. But unless you have like a technical background, it's not really worth going through that. Also, I do have a technical background and I prefer this method. Okay guys, so mine finished up, took a couple of minutes. Basically, it's gonna tell you installation complete, access your new server in a browser to continue. So I'm gonna just copy this. I'm gonna come over to Google Chrome, just paste the link in. 
and you might get this initially. Um, if you are getting this, give it like a couple of minutes and come back and then refresh it. Cause what's happening is like in the domain, once you like added this, this takes like a few minutes to actually become available to the internet. Um, so we'll give it like another couple of minutes and then I'm going to refresh the page and eventually you will get this, uh, working. This should end up, uh, showing like the email, first name, last name. So let's set this up real quick. Do this. So Naveed, do any password you'd like. Uh, you don't need this. Clicks next. Uh, I don't care about any of this. Yeah, so it's going to send you a license key. You're going to find that from your email real quick. The email is going to look like this. You're just going to copy this license key. Come back here to your new self-hosted N8N. You're going to go over to usage and plan. So just click this. You're going to enter in activation key and then activate it. And now you have your own self-hosted N8N. You can start a workflow from scratch. You have your data uh, on your own digital ocean and it's only $6 a month. That's pretty much it guys. If that video was useful to you, let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you don't mind, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Um, and also like it gives me ideas to make other videos. So thanks so much for watching.